Well, guys, it's a great day here at Contentment today because that truck is bringing water to drill a well right there. Guys, this is Ryan with Hearsync. How's it going, guys? Dwelling, or dwelling, drilling. drilling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out to do this. Yeah, of course. Okay, can you please explain what this trenching is about, what it does? It looks like looks like all the solids and fluid and drilling mud stuff come down on this pit where, where the solids just sort of fall out. Yep. And then overflow goes into that You're deep exactly pit right. over there. Okay. So <clears throat> as we drill, we're gonna run mud down our drill stem and it's gonna come back up the annulus. And it's, you know, as it goes through the trench, it's gonna fall out. This big portion is meant to be the primary area of fallout. And then over there is our suction. So all the clean mud goes up, you know, over the dam there. Yeah. And then we suck it back through and run it back down. And exactly like you said, yeah, it's just. So how full do you expect this pit to be when you guys are done uh, of solids from the drill stem? Oh, solids? Uh, hmm. That's an interesting question. I guess it depends on what we're in. Um, if we have a lot of gravel, uh, the gravel tends to fill a lot. You know, like the pea gravel, the small stuff. Yeah. Um, sand kind of just circulates its way back through. Right. Um, do you typically fill? Do you typically fill these up though? I mean, with yeah, the solids from the. Yeah, when we're done, we'll like we'll backfill it if that's what you're asking. No, I mean, does oh. the, the amount of solids you get out does it actually fill this pit, no. or do you wind up covering it over? No, I'd okay. say so. We'll we'll fill it probably 65% with mud. Okay. Um, and I would say 60 to 70 percent high side of that would be filled with with cuttings. Uh, about how fast do you think that that drill stem will drill through this? If it stayed sand like, like just like that, yeah, it, it just falls right through. So you're drilling uh, six inches a second, maybe six inches a second. It's it's it's, it's pretty good. You know, as fast as the drill bit will fall on the machine is as quickly as you'll drill it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but then you get into some like like clay. If you got into some real hard clay, then you start drilling a lot slower, and yeah. it becomes more of like a almost like you're drilling through rock. You know. Yeah. today you gonna drill a well it's a or those each one of those I think each one of those is 20 feet and so he's got one two three four five six seven so he's counting on 140 foot of drilling max and then he's got on the six inch casing he's got one two three four five that's a five. That's a hundred feet, right? And then twenty feet of casing, of uh, steel casing. So. Steel casing has to be in the bottom. Be at the top. This is the consistency of this mud. It's really just sort of like slimy water. It's not that thick. down at about 
about the rate of an inch or two per revolution. And he's got a screen down there where he's checking the solids that are coming up, looking at it to see what the material is. See how quickly this pipe's going down. <clears throat> there are the dark solids coming out right there into the mud. Right now, we are at about 50 feet of depth and uh, they're meeting some resistance. That head uh, is not going down like it was before. It was dropping at a rate of about, I don't know, one or two inches for every turn. Now you're lucky if you get an inch for, you know, seven or eight turns, something like that. It's quite a bit of resistance and it's because they've run into some pretty good clay. Um, the depth they're at right now is about even with the bottom of the hill down there. And I'll take you over there. Okay. So the depth they're at is about even with the bottom of the hill right about there. Not quite the same depth as the river, but right about there. And then they go about another Oh, 10 or 15 feet, they'll be at the river bottom where you can see the blue water out there, roughly even with those grasses. But uh, tougher going now, I think what they've struck is the old uh, river bottom deposits that uh, lie underneath this hill. It's pretty thick clay and that's why they're running into this resistance, but it's going okay.